feeling some sort of way today. Hi friends, I hope you're having an inspiring day. So today we are doing a Princess Polly Spring Haul and if you haven't heard of the brand before, they are all over the gram and for such great reason. I personally love the style of Princess Polly. I feel like all the pieces on their site are totally my vibe my aesthetic. So naturally I always find myself loving so many pieces on their site so I'm really excited about these spring pieces that I'm bringing into my closet. A very big thank you to my friends at Princess Polly for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. It is always such an honor to work with them. As always the team at Princess Polly was so sweet and shared a discount code for me to give to you so it is the code MEL and it gives you 20% off. I feel like Princess Polly is the perfect intersection between trendy and high quality without breaking the bank. Another really great thing about Princess Polly to note is that they actually shipped from the United States free standard shipping on orders over $50 USD or $70 Canadian. It arrives super quick and also the duties and shipping is calculated at checkout so there's no surprises at the door which we love. I feel like that's often a make or break it for me when it comes to any brand. They also have easy returns within 30 days in case something doesn't fit properly and for Canadian customers they also offer afterpay but with all that I am so excited to show you some of these pieces and try them on with you and get your thoughts. So without further ado, let's get into this Princess Polly spring haul. All right, let's start with bottoms and pants specifically. You guys know that I very rarely veer away from my cult favorite pants, but these pants are called the Archer Pants from Princess Polly are amazing. And I feel like they are going to be crowned into my pant cult favorites. So it is this wide leg billowing, um, almost satiny style of pant. Uh, it's got the classic kind of fixtures here with a button and zipper enclosure, belt loops as well. Something that I love about Princess Polly though is the fabrics that they choose to use for their pieces. So this one in particular flows so nicely, as you can see, it fits so well high-waisted. But the thing is, although it doesn't look like it, it actually has a bit of stretch to it, which makes it so comfortable. I have another pair of pants from Princess Polly that I love and has stayed in my closet for a really long time. I didn't know how these would fit, to be honest with you, but now that I have them on, I'm absolutely in love. They also have the pocket fixtures here, but other than that, it's a really nice lightweight pant especially for the upcoming spring season. It'll transfer really, really nicely into summer, especially with a nice little crop top like this. And the Archer pants are $53. You all know me by now and know that I am a creature of habit. When there is a style that I love and that I feel very good about, I buy them in multiple colors. So I also have the Archer pants here in this brown color. Uh, the first one that I showed you was in the, like a sort of dark gray charcoal slate color. But this brown color is definitely one that is very classic to my uniform and my wardrobe. In terms of the length, I am 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, These kind of dust the bottom of my boots here, although my boots do have about a one inch kind of platform to them. They do definitely dust the ground, but these are the type of pants that are really easily hemmed. And again, this colorway as well is $53. I think they may have a couple other colors as well, so you know your girl is going to be on that because they fit and we very rarely find pants that fit this well. All right, next and last up in bottoms is this gorgeous satiny style silky skirt. Now, I find that Princess Polly does this satin silkyish texture really, really well. I have a couple of pieces from years ago that kind of are made with this fabric, and so I knew that their fabric in this sort of style is really well done. So this skirt here is a little bit of a trendier vibe. I know that I'm typically a classic style type of girl, but I love the idea of kind of sprucing up something that is otherwise really classic. So a silk satin skirt is super classic. I have a lot of midi versions, but not a lot of mini versions. So I definitely had that kind of on my list of things I wanted to add to my closet, but a few things. So I know that this little V shape tie up action is a very trendy look. Um, and it might not be for everybody, but here is my little hack here. So if you didn't want to kind of tie it around your waist or wear it with a crop top, really all you had to do is kind of tie it like this. You can either tie it like this in the front to give yourself like a little belt 
action or tie it in the back and it kind of disappears which is really nice so you could wear it trendy or you could wear it classic as well just with like a tucked in white t-shirt and it becomes super classic so I find that things like that and trendy pieces like that are really helpful when you think of different ways to wear them to kind of extend its shelf life you guys know that I am trying to veer away from things that are super trendy I'm trying to stick to the things that I love the things that make me feel great in my body um, but aren't things that I'm gonna have to throw away at the end of the season so this is one of those skirts that I feel like does double duty it is also so so comfortable it's also lined which is great a lot of Princess Polly's pieces are lined so I find that the coverage is really great and this skirt here is $41. All right, let's talk about tops next. I have been flexing this top on you guys for the first uh, little chunk of this video because I am in love with it. I need it in so many different colors. You guys know, uh, and I may have mentioned this in my other videos, but I am a big backless silky satin texture fan I have always been way before it was trendy it's just kind of something that makes me feel beautiful and good and great in my body but now that it is trendy there are so many options for me on the market um, and these are pieces that I used to DIY myself anyhow this top here is so beautiful now a couple of different things to kind of mention it is a cropped top so you can wear this underneath like a blazer or layered with an Oxford shirt a few things is that it's actually a stretchy style of satin um, so you actually have a lot of movement and give in this top and I found a lot of satin tops don't have that now the reason for that is mostly because they used a stretchier style of fabric for this a stringy portion here that ties up the shirt and wait for it wait for the back my friends I'm gonna say that a million times in this video but ah! and honestly this is giving me all of my backless vibe dreams coming true and coming into fruition so this is called their Hadley top um, they only have it in white unfortunately but I wish they had it in more colors because honestly I love it so much uh, and this top here is $33 I don't know if you could tell but your girl is having a major green moment I was mentioning in a couple of videos ago that something about the spring summer season has me warming up to colors but I feel like green is one of those perfect in-between colors that goes really well with pretty much every neutral so got this green silky billowing top like I said I am a creature of habit and I know I love that satiny type texture from Princess Polly they just do it really really well and this top here so it's got the bell sleeves a collared kind of neckline here uh, which you know I love I feel like I'm a big Oxford shirt fan something that I really like are the little details that Princess Polly puts into their pieces for example these little buttons are actually the same fabric as the shirt so it kind of blends in together and makes it look really expensive now in terms of the way that the shirt falls the way that it drapes so nicely it's actually because of how it's constructed so it kind of looks like this has a little hole here and all you do is kind of pull it through or under and that's it and it kind of gives you that effortless draped vibe that you could probably DIY on your own but this is just done so perfectly it's designed this way to look like this it's gonna look really great with a wide flare pair of pants and jeans or dressed up with a little bit of a duo green moment like this this is exactly how I plan on wearing it when I can I go outside and look super cute and this satin top here is $50 another happy backless moment for your girl picked up this beautiful brown golden color satiny cell top draped cowl neckline something that I also love you will have seen me have talked about it for years um, and this top here steals the show again because of its back so it is a completely backless top now the way that this shirt actually works is that it's actually got two adjustable straps one at the top and one at the bottom here um, and I will undo it uh, to kind of show you so it's actually one boxy style of top I'm trying not to fall out of my top here um, but it looks like this now why that's so great is that you can actually customize it to your body type you can customize depending on how loose or tight you want it to be you can adjust it to how you know high your chest is from your neckline um, I just love adjustable tops like this because I feel like it works for so many different body types 
and it's not made for one particular body type which is also so great so this is actually sewn in it's got this little ruching action which you can also adjust and customize and then you kind of just tie it up at the back here um, you can also bring it to the front and tie it up here change it up a little bit you guys know I love pieces that do multiple duties and ones that I can wear in so many different ways and I feel like tops like this are that. Uh, you will have seen me do a couple of DIYs on my Instagram because honestly I couldn't find tops like this before but it's here and it is beautiful and we are loving this backless moment. And this top here is $41. Another reminder that you guys have 20% off with the code MEL. So these prices are actually lower than what I'm telling you. This next shirt here is very much Mel vibes. Uh, it is basically an oversized sort of linen style Oxford shirt. You guys know that I love my Oxford shirts. Shockingly, I do not have one that is linen. But the reason I actually really like this one is the way that it drapes and the size. Now, when it comes to Oxford shirts and classic styles like this, I have a methodology to finding the ones that are chef's kiss and a couple different things so one is the length so you kind of want it to fall over your bum the reason for that is you can kind of wear it as a jacket slash overcoat with that like draped over your athleisure sort of vibe uh, the other thing is that when it's longer like that you can unbutton the ends of it and kind of tuck it in tie it up again wear it a bunch of different ways that a typical shorter style won't kind of give you now this one here is perfect like the length of it is amazing I've tried a couple of oversized Oxford shirts um, in my recent hauls that you will have seen me return because there's just a few different aspects that I don't like one of the major things being sleeve length the other one being like body length but this one in particular I really like because of its linen -y material I'll zoom up just so that you guys can see how beautiful this sort of texture uh, and the wrinkled pre wrinkled look of this linen is just gives me such summer vibes uh, I kind of feel very 70s right now uh, and this shirt here which they also have in another color is $48 I don't know if you guys have watched The Serpent on Netflix, but I am feeling like I am channeling Alain's vibe. If you haven't watched the show, then you will not understand that reference. But this next shirt here is actually considered a shirt dress. Uh, they have it styled on the model online on their website as a dress but realistically I would only kind of wear it like that maybe if I was going out to like a club um, but this is kind of how I would wear it normally so it is a super long Oxford shirt in the satiny material that you guys know and are probably sick of me saying now but that I love from Princess Polly they just do it really well uh, I styled it kind of like a half tucked in here it makes it easy because it does have a little bit of a slit but as you can see it is quite a longer style of Oxford shirt I'm about five six and it goes well below my bum again a few details that I really really like the buttons are kind of coated in that satin fabric and material that just really elevates the look but with this satin material it just flows so nicely drapes so nicely and like I said you can do so many different things with it you can wear it as a swimsuit cover-up you can wear it as a sexy dress on its own with maybe like a little slip underneath or you can wear it casually kind of dressed up like this with a pair of pants or a skirt and this shirt here is $53. Technically not a shirt, but also got this cropped blazer here. I am a huge fan of the cropped blazer trend. Again, I feel like it's one of those trends that is both trendy, but also one that is fairly classic looking and one that just won't expire after this year. Now I've kind of paired it with this non-matching brown, the Archer pants, um, and I love this tonal look, but a cropped blazer like this kind of does double duty because it acts as one both a very sexy top on its own with kind of nothing underneath I'm literally wearing nothing underneath um, but it also acts as a regular blazer if you want to wear like a sort of tank top underneath and wear this kind of open there's so many different ways to wear it, both casual and dressy and the fabric on this is so nice it kind of does feel like a shirt a little bit more lightweight not lined so it is kind of like in between a hybrid between a shirt and a blazer um, but it makes it really wearable for the spring season just because I won't overheat they actually have a matching pant set 
to this blazer. It was sold out in my size uh, when I was online, but you might be able to find it if they've restocked. Anyhow, this blazer is $46. Dresses is next, and Princess Polly does such a great job with dresses. Again, sounding like a broken record, but you know, this satin slip dress has a backless back to it because you know your girl is a creature of habit like i basically am saying the same thing in this video a million times over in all seriousness though a couple things to note about this gorgeous dress love this brown coppery kind of color i feel like it really brings out the warmth of anybody's skin tone it is a cowl neck as I mentioned, my preferred sort of neckline, especially when it comes to the satiny style material. But I am super impressed. Some things that I didn't really realize on the website is that this dress actually has a boning feature. So there's actually this like hard piece here sewn in that basically structures the dress so that it doesn't fall. And that's why you've got this gorgeous sort of side back action that looks seamless because it's actually got that structure sewn into it. So I love that. It does also have adjustable straps here. So again, you can kind of tailor this top portion here to your body and however your body shape and curves are. It also has these two additional tie up details that you can kind of design to make some patterns. Again, they're long enough that you can actually bring them to the front and crisscross them as well. A ton of different ways to kind of wear this dress. This is one of those really nice date night sort of outfits, I feel like, where you're like, yeah, I'm basic and classic at the front but wait for the back oh yes I don't need to toot my own horn but it actually looks and feels better on me than I thought it would when I saw the photo on the model so we are feeling some sort of way and this dress here is $49 don't ask me where I plan on wearing this next dress because I don't think I have any parties to go to but nevertheless we have to get it because wha-bam the backless back at this point, I'm gonna have a full collection of backless dresses and I will be wearing them till the day I die and I'm wrinkly because I forever stand this trend. In all seriousness, this dress here is just a very classic halter, black, stretchy dress. I really like the fact that it is not sheer despite being a sort of ribbed, stretchy fabric. You always have to be careful with that when it comes to stretchy dresses like this. But obviously the main steal of the show is that it is a completely backless halter, which so nice, so great for those clubbing moments that I am not anywhere close to yet because unfortunately we're still in a lockdown. But when it does, this dress will be ready and it is a classic. It is all black. I feel like it will forever be timeless. Um, it is quite short. Uh, for me, it is the perfect length. I don't think I could do any shorter, but a little bit longer and it wouldn't really be considered a mini dress anymore. Um, but I'm actually quite happy with the length. Now in terms of the tie up detail here, um, it does have a really nice thick strap with a lot of give so you can kind of adjust it again to your body type depending on how many curves you have. But this is one of those dresses that you walk in with your heels and your drink and like a pair of gold earrings and you just look like the most effortless person in the club and oh, I cannot wait until I can be in that moment again. All right, last up is sweaters and although I have told myself I'm not gonna be buying sweats anymore, this is actually one that does double duty. So if you guys haven't seen my Princess Diana styling video, I love that sort of look, the sort of vintage athleisure vibe. And I found that I've actually worn and styled up a lot of my sweats that have graphic prints on them or logos or things like that, especially the ones that are vintage inspired. So got this one here mostly because I miss New York so much, but also because I feel like it looks so good with just a classic pair of pants like this or a pair of jeans. Jeans. It kind of already looks stylized, although it is literally a sweatshirt. I actually sized up on this one, so this is a size 8, I believe. I just like to have a little bit of give in my sweater so that I can layer underneath like an Oxford shirt or something like that, and so that it kind of falls slightly over the bum. This one doesn't fall too, too long, um, but I kind of like it tucked in and kind of folded over like this with the ruched up sleeves. This one is printed on, which I don't mind. It's actually really well done in terms of it not kind of 
cracking when I stretch it I feel like that's how you know whether or not something is going to wear really well or not I did wish it was embroidered I feel like I have a thing for embroidered vintage looks right now but nevertheless I still love it and I feel like I will definitely wear it a lot because this has basically been my uniform although I love to be wearing those backless dresses and partying at a music festival that's just not my life right now. So this is kind of how I look. In terms of the inside, it is fleecy as well, so nice and cozy. It might be a little bit hot for the later spring days, but definitely good for these early, colder spring days. And this sweater here is $48. And that is it for my Princess Polly haul. Honestly, I am in love with all the pieces. You guys know that so many of my boxes that I require and that I love were checked off on this haul. Satiny style clothing, backless style tops, really classic pieces like these slacks, these pants, the archer pants that I'm now so in love with. Um, these are pieces that I feel like I will wear often and a lot throughout my closet. I feel like Princess Polly for me is just really in line with my personal style. So naturally it's easy to find pieces that I love and the ones that are going to stay in my closet for a really long time. If any of these pieces were ones that piqued your interest or there's anything on Princess Polly that you love, remember to use code MELT for 20% off. Save yourself some extra dollar. But I hope you guys liked this video. I hope you liked my picks. Let me know in the comments below. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a big inspired thumbs up. I'm still kind of trying this new style of haul where I'm really just coming on here in the piece and telling you what I'm thinking just all at once. So I hope you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up if you do like this format. And if you're new to the Inspired Family, we hope you join us for a little bit longer and subscribe. As always, you can join me on Instagram for my daily adventures. But with that, friends, I hope you have an inspiring rest of your day. Remember that kindness doesn't cost a thing and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.